What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Trucking with Pastor T. As you can see, I'm going to be discussing accidents on the road. Uh, the photo taken in my thumbnail was captured at a, at a yard where I was. I won't disclose the company. Uh, because I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if they're still open or pending investigation, so I won't disclose that. However, I did, it did, you know, bring to mind the importance of us drivers being aware of what we're doing. You know, it, it brought to mind the importance of us being aware of what the vehicles around us are doing. No, we're not psychics, we can't, can't read their minds, but as professional drivers, what we can do is put ourselves in a position to where we can anticipate what those vehicles are going to do. And if they do something that is completely unexpected, if we are following safe practices and driving habits, we will allow ourselves the opportunity to make maneuvers that will help eliminate the possibility of an accident. And especially as new drivers, you get out here and you're not really sure about uh, where you're going. And, uh, Especially as new drivers, you get out here and you're not really sure about where you're going. And you kind of get so caught up on navigating that you forget to watch your truck, watch your trailer, watch the surroundings, watch the vehicles around you, leaving enough following distance. And all those things are very crucial to making sure that you are safe, making sure that you don't have any accidents, making sure that the people around you and yourself make it back home in the manner in which you are on them. Uh, again, I don't know what happened in that, that accident. Uh, a lot of things could have caused that. I'm not here to speculate on that. But I do know, I was looking at some numbers that about 2 million trucks travel the U.S. highways. About 2 million. That's a lot. And there's probably about 500,000 accidents per year in the U.S. involving 18 wheelers. And out of that number, there's probably 5,000 deaths that occur from 18 wheeler accidents. Very, very high numbers. You know, even one is is a, a very high number, you know, when you want to, when, you, when you're talking about death. Uh, I recall a video that was shown to us during our orientation, and it was talking about death and accident rates and so on and so forth, and they asked the gentleman, you know, what number did he think was acceptable for deaths? And he gave a number, and I, I don't remember the exact number. It, it, I mean, when you look at 5,000, they were nowhere near that. And so, what they did is, part of that study, what they did is they brought all of his closest relatives, all of his, his uh, closest friends, and they brought them all out to whatever the number was that he felt like was a, a acceptable number. They brought them all out. And they, and they showed him, like, hey, this is what that number looks like. And they had them all fall out on the ground. 
and and just in a, a moment's notice they were they were gone. They you know they were simulated, but the the point that they were trying to drive home is the fact that they were they were gone. They were no longer going to be with him. And so even though that number that he that he uh, presented was nowhere near five thousand, once you put it in the perspective of your close family, your close friends, it doesn't matter what that number is, that number is too high. So our goal should always be zero incidents, zero accidents, zero injuries, zero deaths. Our numbers as professional drivers, even when we're in our, in our personal vehicles, in our four-wheelers, that goal should always be zero. We should always be conscious and cautious about what we're doing. Uh, in these in these vehicles and so i'm in texas but um i found some numbers and i believe i think it's in the uh metro area like houston or something but But uh, so I got to know, and that's some more numbers here. And of those 5,000 deaths, 98 people deaths, uh, deaths of the, the individuals that are in the four wheeler, be it the driver or the passengers who are riding in the four wheeler. Guys, these numbers are very, very high. But uh, I'm here in Texas and I believe this is probably, I think this is numbers from the Houston area, if I remember right from the, uh, from the website, but for every 15,000 trucking accidents, there's about 2,000 injuries, and of those 2,000 injuries, there's about 300, I think it's 300 deaths, and, and that is like this is one particular area you know this isn't even the whole state of texas that, that, that i'm talking about here this is this is one particular area that they're talking about and it's probably about one death for every 50 accidents that occur uh involving 18 wheelers and you know when you when you see it when we see it on the road we we stop, we think, oh, you know, make say, God, thank you that, you know, it wasn't me, Lord bless that family, but we hardly ever really think about the numbers that are behind these accidents, these injuries. And, again, those numbers are very, very high, and some of the most common causes for these accidents are driver negligence, Driving fatigue, driving distracted, texting, talking on the phone. Like I said earlier, trying to navigate your surroundings, not knowing exactly where you're going. And all of those things can be prevented. You know, if you need to, if you need to talk on your phone, pull over. Stop, pull over. If you need to text, stop, pull over. If you're not sure where you're going, find a safe place, stop, pull over. Check your navigation, figure out exactly which way you need to go, and, and then proceed on. Those are things that can be avoided. You know, company negligence. You know, asking drivers to perform duties that are uh, outside the hours that they're required to drive. Hiring drivers who are inexperienced when you know the routes and the equipment and the loads that you're going to be hauling requires a more experienced driver to uh, navigate the roads and understand the load securement, understand the load shifts and things of that nature. You know, proper maintenance on the vehicles. All these things are common causes of injuries. You know, and there's things that we have to be aware of. As professional drivers, if you 
you have to have enough uh, in you to stand up to your dispatch and let them know if you're not comfortable doing a certain load, if you're not comfortable going a certain route, if you're, if you're tired and fatigued, you have to have enough in you to let them know um, that you, you're not comfortable doing it. And I know in the, in the beginning, starting here, I wasn't very comfortable telling them no because I didn't want them to think that I didn't want to work or I didn't want them to think that, you know, uh, I wasn't a good driver. But shortly after finding myself in positions I wasn't comfortable with, you know, out on the road and didn't have anyone to help me, I quickly learned that I needed to communicate those, those feelings with my dispatch. And I talked about it in a previous video, but communication is very, very, very important. If your dispatch or your managers or Whoever, if they don't know that there's a problem, if they don't know you have a concern or an issue, they can't help you. And so we you, you, we have to communicate those things uh, in order to make sure we are putting ourselves in safe situations, things like that. But guys, this video wasn't wasn't to be like a downer or anything like that. It just kind of just kind of wanted to bring awareness to the fact that. The number of injuries out here are very high and you know we, we, we are all professional drivers and we have to be always, always on guard about what's taking place around us. You know, we, we can't just worry about what's in front of us or what's on the side of us. We also have to be con uh, uh, conscious about what's behind us as well. And uh, so guys again thank you all for joining in with me if you like the video go on ahead and hit the uh, like button consider subscribing comment below if you got any comments uh, about accidents or anything you know anything you think that may be uh, more common causes for our accidents or incidents you know let's just have a discussion you can have a discussion right here in the comment section and uh, we can go from there guys appreciate you for rocking with me Back to tea out.